Hi guys, welcome to yet another video based on IoT. So today in this video, we'll be seeing what is the DDS service or protocol in IoT, which is used for uh, device to device communication. That is the type of M to M interactions in IoT. So you guys ready to understand what is DDS? So let's get started. So uh, this DDS is uh, data distribution service DDS. And this is the architecture or the framework you can say like uh, how it works the dds works in the real life iot systems so basically we have these many entities like you have a hospital integrations uh, you have car systems your automotives your industry as well as defense of your country and then you have uh, this entity this big entity now this contains like a, this is a bus basically so the upper parts are basically uh, different monitoring systems or storage systems and the down part are basically sensors and actuators which are used for performing different actions on the environment like you have real-time analytics and control for monitoring and for all purposes you have operator hmi that is human machine interaction for doing some kind of activities like if uh, there is a scenario of driving a car, then there is a uh, driver and the machine. So it's like human to machine interaction. So all those activities which the human does on that particular machine is being monitored or it's being logged inside this HMI or it uh, operates via this interface. So that is HMI. So operator sits over here. So it's an operator HMI. Next you have IT and or cloud integration like all these details which is uh, being generated uh, throughout the day it's being uh, deposited at the cloud at the end of the day or at the end of the COB closure of the business of that particular activity. So uh, this is the architecture or small overview of the data distribution service like how it works. So uh, let's go to the name data distribution service so from the name itself we can say that it is a service that distributes data now what data it is a device data now what is device data like uh, for example take a scenario of an android smartphone it want to communicate with another device like you have uh, google alexa and siri for example so uh, these two devices wants to communicate with each other so the device data can include the kernel version the os version the baseband version like many other things like uh, which type of operating system it is using or the model number of it basically so uh, those are uh, different kinds of device data which you can say so uh, this basically or this service basically targets devices that directly use device data so it's like a pure of m to m communications machine to machine no human is uh, falling between any of the scenario so it distributes data to other devices uh, like I said, these are the different kinds of device data it has and uh, you can consider it as a device centric middleware altogether uh, which has its roots in high performance defense. You can use in defense activities, military activities or industrial applications. So these are the uh, places or the applications usage where this DDS is mostly used. Now uh, this possesses a publisher or subscriber architecture. Uh, which can transfer millions of messages per second to many receivers like I've discussed in my MQTT protocol video on IoT uh, like uh, it is a publisher and subscriber mechanism like uh, it will create one message and if there are n number of subscribers here then publisher will send that message once then it can reach to millions across different destinations at any point of time. Next it demands uh, data differently than the IT infrastructure this means that uh, there are two kinds of way or two mechanisms like how the data is distributed like for example you have a, a device at another end and you have your IT infrastructure then the way or the mechanism between how the data exchange takes place this is completely different for uh, IT and device like if there are two different devices then that communication is also completely different. Now since uh, we are talking about device distribution so devices has got two peculiarities like devices are mostly fast any device uh, if it's con uh, configured in proper environment it has uh, to perform efficiently so devices are fast and uh, its response time in real life scenarios are in measured in microseconds so that's very fast so these two things you have to highlight upon uh, while you use dds service 
now uh, since they need to communicate with multiple other device from the world like uh, since i have discussed in iot there are around 20 million devices and so you are using ipv6 protocol so uh, there will be multiple other devices in the world or in the universe so uh, if you go with the or if you sit over the tcp protocol and if you use the person to person streams for that communication then it will be restrictive like at some point of time you have to adopt some other protocol so that you don't want to include in this in dds so what dds has it has got its own key strength that is fan out fan out is a term in electronics which means that there is one single point and there are n number of inputs and these inputs can be appended to one point which directs to one output so like there are n number of different inputs coming and you have one single output output stream so it's like a, a multiplexer you can say so fan out is one key strength of dds like you have n number of uh, subscribers subscribing to one particular uh, destination and then it's being sended or routed to one particular channel or one particular tunnel now uh, it possesses a very powerful and uh, it filters and selects data which goes where and thousands of million other destinations now uh, one peculiarity of dds is that whatever data it has it sends across different number of channels now it has the knowledge or it has the monitoring capability of which data goes at what destination at what point of time so it has the complete transparency of what data is reached at which point at which time so it everything has got with dds now uh, like there are n number of big big devices dds are mostly used for super computers and other all big devices now in the world you have n number of small devices as well like for example some uh, sometimes you may have a drone or you have a fitbit band or uh, you have a, a bluetooth earphones headphones and all so these are small small devices as compared to super computers so what dds has to offer is that it has a lightweight version of its uh, dds like to work in a constant environment constant environment is like home environment we use fitbit band or bluetooth uh, connectivity while using headphones and all so uh, dds has got that as well now uh, since uh, we have talked about the publisher and subscriber architecture or framework uh, it has a hub and spoke now uh, like since we have uh, spoke about publisher and subscriber uh, if we use or if we go with the hub and spoke model it is not possible like for every device to use every other devices data so uh, it's limited to one particular instinct like for example say you have uh, one particular center uh, repository like a ledger is there and if there are n number of simultaneous users accessing it so like everybody uh, don't have particular privileges or they may have a lower privilege so uh, each of them can manipulate or either uh, change the data so that thing should not happen in dds so what dds has it has got its own d2d that is device to device data bus so it possesses a data bus which provides control and access to data and updates by simultaneous users so like it has uh, restricted to only particular users like these many users can only update or only access data at particular instinct of time and not all the time now uh, talking about the applications small applications are there it has applications in military systems hospital integrations then medical imaging system asset tracking and some uh, automotive test and safety uh, places or activities uh, so well that's all about the data distribution service uh, in iot system so hope you enjoyed this video if you got educated by watching this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video